Welcome to the third installment of the Arisen campaign um, hosted by Doma of Doma Gaming and my players uh, played by playing Kashrin would be Yosh uh, playing the character Anna would be a blue flan and playing Raldir uh, will be Delta So just like we always do, we're going to be doing our recap of what happened last time on Arisen D&D. Our heroes, after having a bit of a mishap with their adventuring group and being sealed in to these mysterious ruins, uh defeated a monk, uh, an elemental monk of orcish nature. And after a very long and difficult battle, the party entered into some strange pocket dimension through the use of the cloaked figure's spell. Um, taking them into this grand, illustrious, um, I guess you could call it a mansion, uh, with outstretching rooms that seem to appear beneath you as you stepped into the void. And after a bit of um, R&R, &R, or a group, decided to continue forward, delving deeper into these ruins. And upon doing so, uh, got ambushed by a few more goblins brandishing small weapons and firing small dart-sized arrows um, battling their way through until they came across a series of panels that turned out to be a large tile set of dart traps that slowed down our party's uh, continuing forward. Pressing onward, they came across a sort of cliff, a hanging. They were on the bottom, about 10 feet up on top of this wall, were a series of goblins. After slowly trying to pick them off, um, our heroes eventually climbed up after some hilarious antics with trying to do so, and came across this sort of makeshift training room where an orc wielding a flail of skulls was sort of issuing orders and commands to the goblins. After dispatching all the goblins in a rather timely manner, uh, the orc then began to swing and attack at anything um, he could get close enough to and upon the use of their uh, combined attack Koshrin and Raldir um, enacted the divine talons and if you want to know how that went down be sure to check the last episode it was very very incredible after completing their attack and really damaging this orc. He then started to crush one of the skulls in that was part of the flail, and this shell of bone began to encircle and cover the orc until it was somewhat of a very vibrant, glistening, egg-shaped object with the orc inside. And coming out of the very top of this ovuloid object was a very thin um, kind of tendril that connected to each of the corpses of the goblins that were scattered about after the combat. And through some sort of necromantic magic or something even darker, the goblins then began to be puppeteered by this tendril. And... 
begin to, began to slash and tear at our elf and Anna. After enough chaos had ensued, uh, the cloaked figure then took it upon himself to summon forth huge earth elemental to yank down the tendril and break it. Meanwhile, our heroes try to find some way to crack into this shell. After some repeated blows to the same side to crack it open, they eventually dispatched the orc and all of the bones dropped to the ground and faded away, but not before some skeletons that had been raised, killed, had dealt a lot of damage to our party. We are now recovering. And that's what we'll pick up. Okay. How so do you proceed? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go ahead and just shout out to the room. Is everybody okay? Is everybody okay? Ah, uh, yes, I am feeling better than I was before. Well, now I think I am. Oh, what's everybody's health totals? Uh, I'm 29 out of 29 because I had that nat 20. I am at 1 HP. Uh, Yoshi. I'm at 31. Okay. So, as soon as the combat ends, um, the earth elemental sort of begins to crumble and then turn into this fine sand from which it was created. Well, since it was 20. since it was made of uh, the sandstone uh, walls when it was summoned. Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, um, I'm going to look to the uh, the elfman. I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna say. Wait, hold on. Is the elfman still alive? Yeah. Or, Conscious? Yeah. yeah, he's just hit. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about you? Are, are you okay? I'm fine. Good. And then he's going to take both of his uh, enchanted uh, short swords and then sort of do that sheath where he like crosses his arms. Um, and then she them both and then brings both of them down to his side and he's gonna bring his cloak um, over his shoulders to conceal uh, his body once again. Wow, he's so cool. <laughs> God, I wish he was my teammate. <laughs> when he uh, is. Uh, yeah, he is our teammate. Um, alright, so, um, wait on. May I stand? <laughs> I think you're on the ground, yeah. Yeah, I am prone. Yeah, you got prone. You can just stand up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all right. um, I'm gonna say just kind of generally to the room. Oh well, now that that's over, I suppose we have a job to do, and I say we should keep moving, unless but... unless anyone needs healing. Kind of looking over. Mm -hmm. to I need healing. I need you. I need healing. <laughs> He's right. We should get moving. With that, I'm gonna start walking already. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess I'll walk over to. Uh, okay, so. Uh, cure wounds. Gonna, I'm just gonna stay. You're right gonna cast there, cure so wounds at what level? Um, like what's level? You cast it at first level. I think it's a d6. Uh, it says a D8. A in D8? Mind. Yeah, yeah it's, a D8 if, it's a D8 at first level and a D8 for every slot that you use above it. Uh, two right. D8s. That's going to be the spell. If the, Are you casting it at second level? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Then yeah, it'll be two, two D8s. D8s. And plus spellcasting ability modifier. Yeah. <laughs> and which, what is that? Your intelligence. Plus 
15. Yeah, that's a good heal. You regain 15 Ooh. points of your health. So I'm at 16 now. That's nice. Alright. All right, I suppose I'll walk back to our call Thank you yeah. very much. Uh, no problem. It is my pleasure. You yell across the room. Yeah. <laughs> I, I well, imagine saying that as he's walking away. Yeah. I'll have a call. Three, four. How do you wish to proceed? All right. Um, well, I'm just going to walk forward. I guess I'll follow oh, wait, his can I? Can, can yeah, I... Yeah, you can, you can see what's ahead of you now. Yeah. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to motion for the others to stay back a bit, and I'm going to stealth. Okay, make a stealth check. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to stealth. And, oh, that's right. Hold on. Well, Ooh. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> What are the modifiers? Because you didn't press the thing, but yeah. Yeah, the modifier is plus four. Oh. Are you uh, proficient in stealth? It's plus seven. Oh, 26. This, okay. If this is like any video game yeah, I've ever gonna, played. Yeah, I'm gonna peek my head around they're this They're gonna corner. have treasure up here, because we just beat a boss. Exactly. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move over here, and then I'm gonna motion for the others to stay... Like, a good distance, but come over. Hey, where are you going to go to next? Go right here and peek over the corner over here. I, I want to be more in the middle of those, but, you know. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, jeez. It's like a minefield Stealthily. <laughs> okay. Remember, it's another minefield. Traps. Yo, if, if it is, I'm gonna... No. Can I perception check just the floor around me? Are you trying to look for traps? Yeah. Because that would be an investigation check. Investigation. Might as well try it out. 14. Um, so you begin to check the, the floors and the walls nearby, but there doesn't seem to be anything um, that catches your eye that would entail like a, a trap mechanism of some sort, like an activator. Okay, so this is a wall, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna walk over here. Okay. And peek over here. Okay. <laughs> Since I'm stealth, I don't know if someone seeing me would be like, oh shoot. Oh shoot. Alright, I'm gonna walk the corner, motioning for everyone to follow. As soon as you turn the corner, you're able to see further down, and you see a small goblin with a short bow on its back sitting down. Oh. Poking its nose. <laughs> it doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. Here, my friend, let me let me sh let me shoot him. I I don't think you can see. Oh, yeah, yeah right. Well, if you what point you over to the direction that he's in, then yeah, you'll be able to see it. What the hallway is big gonna... enough for two people to walk. So, since I'm stealth, if I walk in front of him, it's gonna break that, right? Um, technically. You can try and... Okay, so here. This is... The way that he's looking is um, in this direction. Yeah. Yeah. But you're like you're like sticking to the shadows along the wall. So he hasn't so noticed I could, you. I could possibly come out and just give him a 1-2 right here. Well, technically, you threw like a 27 stealth. I'm pretty well hidden. So you could probably make it up to him. Yo, Probably. Yo. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and a motion to Raldir, and I'm gonna whisper to him because I I just want to be safe. Raldir, there seems to be one goblin. He doesn't seem to have taken notice to me yet. Go I'll ahead. Ninety nine. You could either ten. take a shot or I could advance. Um. I'll try my luck, and if uh, if that doesn't work out, well, I'm. I'm, I've got you here, so... Alright. I'm going to <laughs> stick to the shadows, like, over here. Like, next to the wall, if you get that, like, back to the wall. Yeah, yeah. Mm, and I'm Letting guessing... Him get a clear shot. I can see him, like, through here? Uh, yes, but I'm gonna need you to make a stealth check. Okay. For anybody who tries to walk past that into, like, his realm of view, I'm gonna need you to make a stealth check. <laughs> him or me? 
You. You. So anybody who crosses you this threshold oh, yeah, right, right, needs I walk to make a there. stealth check. Because you're walking, like, <laughs> past his line of sight, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's enough. Alright. <laughs> he's too busy. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's too just- busy he's gold. digging for gold, yeah, man. digging for gold. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna take a shot. Beep, beep. Uh, also, can I, do I have advantage? Cause he- Yes, cause you, it's technically a surprise attack. Yes. Yeah, shoot him. Yeah, so, um... Hold on. Let me, let me just <laughs> check something really quick, cause I think I'm just- I think I might be getting this confused with rogues, but I think surprise attacks get something else. Mm. Yo, I can't wait to dual class. Being a rogue is so much fun. You deal so much damage. I, I, I believe so, especially as I'm hiding in the shadows, teleport behind you, and just like... Nothing personal. No kid. <laughs> Nothing um... personal, kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so unseen I, attacks. I need to do something. Like, it'll take one second. Okay. Um, when a creature can't see, you have advantage on both. You have advantage on, on attack rolls against it. Yeah, I yeah. was getting a. So. Yeah, I was getting it confused, confused. with uh, rogues, uh, who uh, every surprise attack is a critical hit. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, well, that's that's a, an assassin rogue level. trait. That's oh. a level. That's a level three thing. Thought so. I thought it'd be like higher level than one. I'd, I'd hope it'd be higher level than one. Well, uh, with uh, surprise attacks. Uh, at level 1, you still get to throw um, a d6 of extra damage. Leave. Yeah, you still get to throw a d6 extra damage with attack. Hey, get him, buddy. Also, if you're flanking, you get the sneak attack bonus. So if there's another target within 5 feet of them, then uh, you also get it. Alright, I'm back. Okay, um, throw damage. Right, so, and you All get right. an extra d6. No, he, no, he's not a rogue. Oh. So it, it, you just throw damage. That is a spicy hit. Uh, so... You lift up... Um, Divine Fury. And... You take a shot. And y you explode... Um, his side. Like, it, it just... <laughs> My it just... sides, I'm laughing. <laughs> and, uh, suddenly, um, he, like, kind of crumples down and, like, down to his knees and, like, clutches his side. Um, and then he looks up and he sees, uh, well, actually, he doesn't see Koshrin, who's sticking to the shadows. His black feathers are, um, helping him camouflage in, but he sees you. <laughs> So I'm gonna need I'm gonna need Koshrin. Uh, I'm gonna need all three of you to throw initiative. Oh. All right. Oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, just click the initiative button on your character sheet. Oh look! I actually it's, got it. Let's fix that. that. Oh, wait, there we go. Initiative. That's better. Okay. So then I gotta throw the hidden one. Fell off the table. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Um, there were actually three enemies. Proud deer are gonna go first. Shooty. Yeah. So you get to go. Okay. What do you do? Um, I guess I'm gonna try to shoot him again. <laughs> okay. Seeing that he notices me. Yes. <laughs> Double tap. Goblin Senpai notices you. <laughs> Notice me, Senpai. Notice me. Teach me how to fight. Aww. Teach me how to fight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So, yeah, 16 is going to be enough. Yeah. I'll throw damage again. Kill him. All right. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yeah, so this time um, you correct your aim a little bit, and uh, you just pop his head like it was a, a tiny cherry being squished. Cool. Feels bad. I'm going to look to Koshrin, do a thumbs up, and say, 
All right. Anyways. All right. That was nice. Thank you. Oh, by the way, each time it shot, like the, it echoed through the halls. It's very loud. Oh no! The thunder yeah, I'm being alerted. Well, yeah, I'm gonna Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep sticking to the shadows That's and okay. motion whenever I make a few, like visual progress. Yeah, a circular room. Ooh. Kind of like okay. I'm gonna move move a bit and grab all his arrows. <laughs> oh my god. Of course. Why do you have such an arrow fetish? How many no! arrows do you have in your inventory? Loving those. Darts. I have 15 dart sized arrows. You don't have any way of holding these. Yeah, they're pants. just in the pouch. Don't look at me. Probably my explorer's. No, pack. you. Now I need you to add five more dart sized arrows and then a tiny quiver. That you're taking off of this guy to keep them in, because they need to be in <laughs> yes. something. Yes. How many? How many darts? It can hold. It can hold up to twenty. So you have exactly yes. twenty, but you yeah. can't. It can't fit anymore. Tiny uh -huh. quiver. Tiny quiver. <laughs> That's so awesome. All right, I'm happy about that. And then there seems to be a. Uh, There seems to be a, a stairwell going down okay, at the end. I'm just gonna. Okay, uh, I was like, I've learned to distrust first, stairs. Same, honestly. For so a second, I thought there was an enemy right there. So <laughs> it, it's you're, you're you're going to a to a new map, so. Oh. oh okay. Oh, well, I, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Yep. Hiding in the shadows like a real caution. <laughs> no, come back. <laughs> I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, so who's gonna go first? Me. Oh. Still sticking to the walls. Followed by who? Uh, I I'll guess go. I'll go. You you can st there you can go in uh two rows of two. Okay. So who's next to him? Uh, you know I'll I'll go next one. Okay. Aww. I'll go. Yes, Little did we know, there's this is an Indiana Jones trap. Okay, well it's just so that way on the next screen I can position yeah. you guys correctly. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Extra attack. Mm. You're all around us. Oh, where are just we? Scroll out a bit. <laughs> Yo, it's it, oh. Koshrin's everywhere. <laughs> what? I am the shadows. Oh. <laughs> I am. The I am one with the shadows. <clears throat> I'd hope to be. All right. All right. We're at the top. What? Yes. <laughs> this scares me. Even though I know it's probably just a wall. It is just a wall. It scares me. So let me. Uh... <laughs> this. <laughs> I don't see anything right now. Hold on. I need to. This creature. Wait, there's. It's just black. <laughs> what? Don't worry. It's the egg. Yeah, it's in the. Now. You're in the top corner. Now if I can right. somehow. All right. Well. This is this is a scary layout because if I go to poke my head around here, they see me down there. Well, I, that's if they have good enough eyesight. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. Okay. Taking yeah. this. You I'm are gonna, greeted. Uh, with. With a lot of rubble, kind of in the corner. Oh, come May on! I investigate Don't do it? That. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around this corner. You see a stairwell going downwards. What? Downward. Oh no! Another, another um, wait, hold on. So, is there just nothing in this room? Uh, do you want to peek your head around that corner too? I want to peek my head around this corner. It seems that there was another stairwell going down, but it's caved in. Okay. Can I investigate the rubble? Uh, yeah, make an investigation check. Uh, yes, sir. One second. <laughs> make sure to click it. Yeah, click the word investigation. I on know. Your I was, uh, normal yeah, roll don't mess or, up like or, me. Yeah, normal n roll? yeah, normal roll. No advantage. Oh, the so you begin to dig through the rubble, and um, it just seems to be rocks on rocks on rocks on rocks. And you see a goblin. Where did I eat my plank? It's a live you know. goblin sleeping ah. in there. And the goblin's in My home. Alright, um, 
I guess I'll just stick stick yeah, by yeah, just, uh, just... caution. <laughs> I'm gonna motion you to move back. Okay. <laughs> We I don't know do so. what we could be running into. Yes, okay. I, I agree. So, what are you doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and make a, like make a, a stealth check. A quick, quick movement. Are you like a quick movement? You're not gonna try and be stealthy? No, no, no. no I'm like still sticking to the wall, still trying to be. Stealthy. Well, yeah, but you need to throw a new stealth check. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Eighteen. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Another room. Boy, stay back. All right. Can I'm gonna check for traps right quick. Okay. Cause I I don't trust this one bit. Make an investigation check. Really? This just seems to be an empty room. Uh, okay. <laughs> if if you know me, you'll know that I'll do this. <laughs> Peek over. Well, I ask you guys to not just keep moving, so that way I have oh, I have sorry. time to say okay. things when they happen. Okay, so you begin to inch along the walls, but as soon as you um, kind of cross threshold to here, um, a panel underneath you kind of sinks in, oh. Oh, no. and first a wall drops down. Oh. A grated, well, like a spiked of... grate from the ceiling, oh. um, Can like try right. And, like, dodge over here. Uh, no, hold on. <laughs> Cutting the room in half. Oh, like, oh so no. it's so there's great. a it's a grate. Um, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then also one at the entrance here. Spiked grate. Yes, and then, as you look up at the ceiling, that's about 20 feet up, you see a panel in the ceiling beginning to slide slowly to the side, and this red liquid begins to slowly, like at the speed of molasses, to drip out, and the room begins okay. to heat up. So, oh, it's which way did the grate fall? What do you mean? Like, the, did the grate slide out? It like fell from the ceiling. ceiling fell from the ceiling so it's yeah. stuck on the ground yeah it's it's it, upon closer inspection on the ground you can see these tiny little indents for where it's like stuck into the ground oh okay i'm gonna go ahead and use my dagger okay and with both hands i'm gonna try and push the the grate up like with the blade um, if you understand me Okay, so let me draw what it looks like from a 2D perspective. It's a grate like this that's like all connected and then indented into the ground at the bottom. Okay? And then it's okay. spiked everywhere. Yeah, like that's why I'm using on the any... dagger. But where are you putting your hands to lift up? On cuz it's too heavy for a, for you to lift with the dagger. Oh. It's 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 wooden, but there are metal spikes all over it that seem to be making it heavier. Wooden with metal spikes. Yeah. Like, Wait. just about anywhere where there's a corner, um, there's, like, there isn't, you can't really find a place where you can put your hands to, like, get any leverage. Is it, like, how much of it is made out of wood? Um, yeah. the bars. Like, the bars themselves are made of wood. Can I try and... But uh, like you, you like where they where they cross horizontally and vertically. Um, there's like a bearing that is made of iron. So can I try and break like a hole through it? Um, like do you want to like hit the wood, hit the wood, hit the wood, and make a hole that way? Yeah, you can try that. Um, make an athletics yeah, check. Yeah, but it's got like spikes, right? Yeah. Athletics. <clears throat> No! Uh, you try and find a spot, and you see a tiny little spot that you think you can sneak your fist into to try and, uh, like, break it. Um, or at least start to attempt to break it, but then from the ceiling, um, uh, after you hit it, it kind of shakes the room a bit, and a little bit of 
the the reddish orange liquid drops onto your shoulder and you take four points of fire damage. Okay. Okay. Uh... Shoot. All right. If I try and punch the gate. Well, hold on. What are you two you... doing? Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you already did something, so. Because this is this is what's coming from the ceiling is is like on a timer, so I don't want to. Can I investigate to see if I can find a way? Uh, to find a way to what? Uh, investigate the the walls so I can see if I can help in, in any way. Um. Yeah. Can make an invest. Like make an investigation check. So as you're looking around. Um, you begin to, like, feel on the walls and see if you can find any kind of hidden panel or secret switch, but, um, you can tell that it's connected to something somewhere else. The switch isn't in this room. Um, and you see, uh, kind of these slits in the ground. Um, think like, uh, sewer, like sewer drains, like, uh, made of iron that seem to... Uh, and you begin to piece it all together, and you can tell that this room is meant to fill with with um, the liquid and then it be drained out. So you don't find anything that you think could turn to stop it off, you know? Someone, see if you can find a panel around with me. Well, you already know that there's no panel in here with uh, Investigation of 19. Oh. Well, in this room. Well, in, in this specific room, right? Yeah. What about the uh, the room we just came out of? Or, like, around the rubble, maybe? You would have to go over there and make an investigation check. <laughs> okay. Now, how small of a space is there between the grate and the floor? I like to try and go underneath it? Yes. No, there's, there's a bar, like, on the floor. And what about above it to, like, try to, like... It goes, it connects up to the ceiling. Oh well, no, it's a grate, so like, what is the space between the bars? Oh, um, it's only like two inches. It's very, very, very thick. Hmm. I kind of want to shoot the wood, but at the same time, I don't want to end up shooting, shooting Kosharan by accident. I don't think you'll end up shooting me. I think you'll end up shaking the room, and it'll drop faster. That That's what I'm worried about. I'm going to say to Kashrin, um, you may want to get out of that room. Uh, can I see that there's like an opening over there on that wall? Uh, what do you mean? No, that's oh, that, graded yeah, off too. Yeah, that's graded off too. Oh, that's graded I, off I don't think, line. yeah, I don't think I revealed enough for you to see where I drew the line. Oh. There you go. Oh yeah, I see. Ah, uh, shoot. And um, as actually with the investigation check, you can see that there is a panel above you that's you can tell is identical to the one that's across the room that is also meant to um, drop a grate down, but it seems to have malfunctioned. Probably due to um, maybe it being really, really old, or maybe there was just a, like, you can't tell why, but you can tell that the grate didn't come down. Hmm. Like exactly where you guys are standing. <laughs> like it's oh. right above your head. The fake panel. I, you know what? I'm just gonna go brute strength. I'm gonna see if I can lift this. Um. Okay. Make an hurt. athletics check. All right. Uh, do you want to try and help him with this? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh wait. Okay. Then uh, for a group oh. athletics check, um, just throw one d20. Oh, oh no. Just a base d20. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, math, 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 math. Yeah, with the combined strength of all three of you, you're able to lift it. Math. Six inches off the ground. <gasps> Does it? Can I get through that? No, you can't. Can it stay like that, or will it just drop if we let it drop? It'll probably drop. As, so as soon as um, Kashram begins to kind of um, try and see if he can make his way down, um, between the two of you, you immediately it immediately drops onto the ground. Oh. 
Like, it, all three of you, all, with the strength of all three of you, you can barely lift it up that high. With two of you, you can lift it at all. Hmm, I wonder. Could we get some help over here? And with that, <laughs> the other two also come over and everybody kind of puts their hands down onto the grate and everybody tries to lift it up. Also, when it dropped down onto the ground, the room, the room shook a bit. Oh. Yeah, I thought so. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Caution. Okay. That's not gonna be enough. So okay, that's fine. It shakes, and then the panel, uh, like the liquid, kind of um, oscillates for a moment, um, and then it drips another drip onto you, dealing another four points of fire damage. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna. Uh, you know what? Make another d20 check. Somebody doesn't matter who. Oh. Uh, caution's not included in this. Like, roll, it's the 11. Uh, yeah. But with everybody lifting it up, it comes up about a foot off the ground, and you're able to make it through. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the third round. So it's dripping down. Uh, so by the second round, it was already on the ground, and it was coming towards you. On the third round, it's about to get to you, and you slide underneath. And yeah. it then to slow. It then after it begins to fill up the space where you would be standing anywhere on that side of the room, it begins to slowly drain down into the drain. <sighs> that was Just awesome. barely. And then, as soon as all of the liquid drains into the grate, you hear the clanking of metal and th loud thumping and scratching and then uh the grates begin to rise back into the ceiling they were spiked right yes they were doesn't that mean everyone's gonna take damage everybody is taking a bit of piercing damage so from the first round that you guys took piercing damage when yeah, i tried to help yes you did so everybody took Seven Those points big spikes. of piercing damage. No, they're actually really tiny. That's the thing. There's just lots of them. Completely dotted. Think like brambles or thorns where it's just everywhere. <laughs> Cactus. So then the second round, everybody takes it. Except you. The other four people, yeah, not you. Me. Taking... Another seven points of piercing damage. Christ! Four is the number of the night. That puts me on two H. Okay, so seven percent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty. So a total myself. of fourteen damage. Wait, each of us takes fourteen damage. Yeah, because yeah. it was two rounds of of spikes. Oh, yeah, right. oh, boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure we're all pretty banged up. Yeah. Even even Elf Boy and a uh, Cloakman. Oh no, they're not even a half health yet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Would one of you mind taking the lead for once? I'm up yes. Um at that the Cloakman is going to speak up for the first time. I don't think he's talked Ooh. yet. Um no, he he's gonna say I think we should rest. That would be a good idea. I need to get my magics back. Yes. Sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, by the way, I I, I assume I kind of just like uh, I kind of just like rolled my way over there, so I'm just kind of like on the ground, like yeah, you know. are. <laughs> yeah. On my back. So um, yes, the other two begin to kind of gesture back towards where the rubble was. Yeah, I'm gonna pick myself up and just kind of dust myself off. <laughs> cool guy. And then the um, noticing that Anna is feeling a little weak. Go back, please. Yes. Okay. Um, the elf is going to kind of lift you up and like kind of do the thing where uh, when your arm is over his like shoulders and he's like helping you walk because you are like about like on the brink of yeah, falling unconscious I'm again. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> 
So then everybody goes over there, just a little bit of, a little extra detail. Okay. <sighs> and we activate a trap. Uh, the wow. cloaked figure is kind of gesturing you for t to move further to the left, like out of the corridor. Like over here. Oh. Go ahead and move. So, after a bit of shuffling and moving things around, uh, the cloaked figure then um, touches the wall next to him, and then uh, through some through some kind of magic, I guess, uh, the sandstone floors uh, beneath you um, begin to rise. Where the from where you entered when from where you entered like the corridor and form a wall um and it kind of seals you in right there oh oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. it's black I have summoned the darkness. <laughs> no, since the wall is at that corridor now, um, obviously you can't see anything else out there. Yeah. Um, so you guys, what do you do? I'm just gonna sit down, kind of like... I could have died. I'm gonna have a nice one right here. I suppose I'll... <laughs> I'll help you over there because you're probably like dying as you're walking. I'll just kind of sit down against the wall. Very dead. Like that. <laughs> oh yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Slide floor. Yeah. Just kind of sit down. Okay, so then everybody's just gonna take a long rest. Yes. Yeah. So you get the feeling that you're relatively safe in here. Um, as long as there's nothing lurking around um, that can knock down the wall that was uh, that came up from the ground. Um, so about eight hours pass. Um, food. Who has food? Uh, I have food. Uh, yeah, I have ten days of rations. Same here. Uh, I have two days of rations. Okay, everybody deduct a day of rations from yourself. I think right. the cloakman is the voice of reason. What do you mean? You wanted us to rest. But we didn't we didn't think about that at all. We were just like, I guess we gotta keep going. <laughs> That's cool. was just like, you know, th there's a thing called rest. <laughs> I mean there's a thing called rest. There's a thing called resting. <laughs> Yes, yes. What are you, crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so then the uh, the eight hours pass. Um, but after around the f the actually, I need to check the duration on Wall of Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Less twenty four hours. <laughs> well, no, because um. Aster can use an action to bring it down, but if it's if it's uh, if it lasts for a certain amount of time, it doesn't come down. It's permanent. So. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought so. Uh oh. Wall of stone is up to ten minutes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave the wall there. Uh. So let's. 
would have been better if he was an elemental monk. He could have just made a wall and just kind of like brought it back down. Yeah. I'm checking the spell. Yeah, if you maintain your concentration on this spell for its whole duration, the wall becomes permanent and cannot be dispelled. Otherwise, the wall disappears when the spell ends. Okay. I suppose he kept the wall up. He, he did. Um, so... What do you do? <laughs> Alright, so we're all, we're all up. We're all Every, Yeah, everybody's health is completely restored. Um, oh, thank you. you have all of your spell slots back. Not like that I use them or anything. <laughs> uh, key points are restored as well. Yes! Um. So. What does everybody do? Okay. Well, wait, so, so we're in this room now, because... Because I guess the wall is there now. Yeah. I'm going to look to the cloaked figure and let's say, well, uh... He's going to walk up to the wall and punch it. How my hand! It is only three inches <laughs> thick. Oh, that's really hard. <laughs> oh, the wall is only three inches thick. Okay, so it just like breaks. Uh, yeah. So he punches a hole in it, and then he punches a bunch of other holes in it. Um, <laughs> this guy actually has a strength of twenty-two. Uh, yeah. So he essentially punches a door in the wall. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and get his attention by... By just saying, uh, like, yeah, hey. Good cloaked figure. He turns you and had, faces you. <laughs> you had the way to put up a wall. Any way to remove rubble? And I point back to the corridor. Uh, he's gonna shake his head no. Mm. no worth a shot. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna see about usher like ushering the elf man to like go ahead, like go go, shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> yeah. Away with you. <laughs> Go on. Oh no, he after maneuvering around he's not on that side anymore. He's over on that side. Oh the cloaked oh. figure is above, like like right here, isn't he? Cause he punched the holes. Yeah, he's he he already walked away he already walked out. Oh I'm, I'm assuming the elf guy followed too. Uh -huh. yeah, he's he's waiting for everybody to leave. I'm right down. There. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you spooked me, you have a higher stealth than me. <laughs> <laughs> And then suddenly there are 30,000 goblins waiting for you. Oh, <laughs> I'm ready for this. Oh, I've no. trained my whole life. I throw all the arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Just in a rain of arrows. A rain of arrows. Alright. Um, I look back to the cloaked figure and say, Do you want to go first? Maybe. He's going to shake his head no. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm gonna look back, to the, look back to I the know, elf. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hand on Raldir and say, I'm "Gonna grab his butt." It was worth the chop. <laughs> well, um, all right. I'm gonna walk up to where he was before he crossed that threshold. I'm gonna walk right up here. Gonna... <laughs> and the okay. real trap, the the, the, the first I trap activates. Um. Okay. So how? You know what? I'm gonna usher him to move back. Me. Yes, you. Wait, I can stay. My name's not him. I am going to take a running a jump and try to jump from here to there. Okay. <laughs> you know, what? I'm going to tell him to like move back into the room because I want to get a nice running start. Yeah, you would have to because you're leaping from the top of the stairs. Like, I want to leap like once I get down to here. Damage. Wait, so you're going to run down the stairs? Like, well, you know what? Okay, so... Is there like something I could like hit my head on here, or is no. it just like open? It's open. You know what? I'm gonna jump from the top wait, of the stairs. Wait, wait, wait. hold on. Oh, he, I, have to, I have to ask: Is this a stairwell going down? Yes, it is. You're gonna take fall damage. It's okay. It's okay. 
I have then, I if, have all my health back. If you accidentally back. step here, you might trigger it because you added weight. I'm. But he's jumping from the top of the stairs. Oh, so from, here? from the top of the steps from right here. to try to make it across the room. Oh my! <laughs> this is gonna what be if easy. I just jump and glide with you? Oh wait, you know what? Can I use my angelic or my my transformation? Um. Wait. Just ask the cloak man. He can just put us on the. Oh yeah, wait. Pack. He has the floating <laughs> disc. Uh, I'm gonna look over to him. You know, after I, I like, I was like stretching and stuff, like getting ready to jump across the room. Like I'm like stretching and stuff, like backing up, and it's like, wait, cloak man, can you maybe use that disc of yours to get us over? And with that, he is going to reach into his cloak <laughs> and produce um, a small stone disc. Um, that he tosses onto the ground after he walks a bit forward um, out in front of him and it's kind of as soon as it gets to like where the top step is it suspends in the air over the stairs and then suddenly expands into a platform um, that four of you can stand on I'll go ahead and let Get the on elf here, go on he's gonna he's gonna um, shake his head no and then like make a gesture for you to go I'm just gonna I've jump got an on idea. Trust me on this one. Oh and with that, he is going to... I don't know if I have an image for this, but he's going to turn into an eagle. Go! Did he speak Aarakocra? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's, 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 he's just going to uh, shape change into an eagle. Well, that's convenient. Cool. I, I say as I walk onto the disc. <laughs> <laughs> Though there is one thing. The eagle has antlers. Oh, interesting. It's Gosh. like it's, what I think. What I th when I think of an eagle and like antlers, I think of that rabbit or that uh, jack. What is it? Jackalope. The, yeah, the jackalope and the lunch <laughs> Let's go. All right. Yeah. So um. I need, I yeah, should... I don't have this, so I need to. I need to upload it really quickly. What the <laughs> hell is someone playing Modern Warfare? I heard that part. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, at least I'm not. At least I know I'm not really going to play this video. Okay. Goddamn. Okay. Oh, what the so. hell is modern warfare? <laughs> I know, I know right. Me not his voice. What you mean? There we go. <laughs> the eagle ate him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. Spit out our friend. So yeah, he transforms into this beautiful red and blue feathered eagle <laughs> with a. Uh, um, with antlers. <laughs> I'm not going to say this in my voice. So hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, I mean, he is right. Oh, wait. I mean, really, I they're two, so. they're two birds. You know, it's not bad. It's not weird. Yeah, but I'm not gonna say that in my voice because it's still the elf. Yeah. Want yeah. some seed? <laughs> oh, whoa. Yo, whoa. there's a bird in here. It knows what's good. I got, I got Yo, you. there's a bird in here. Yeah, hey, what's good? Okay, so um. Using the uh, using Tenzer's floating disc, uh, you hover above the ground, going kind of down the slope, um, all the way across to the other side, with, <laughs> and then the eagle um, flying behind. You know, I just thought of something horrific. What would that be? What if I tried to like like I jumped, then I slid, like did like a baseball slide, and then oh, like to try to to try to get under the grate, and it caught my head it, under the grate yeah. and it decapitated me. <laughs> <laughs> Not one. You exactly died. what I was gonna do to you if you as soon as you jumped. Not one. Kidding. <laughs> into a baseball slide, and then the grate decapitates you, killing you instantly. <laughs> Make a new character. I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't be outside the realm of D and D. That's for sure. All this right. ain't no tutorial. We don't get the. All right, mode. so um, you move up once again, and the floating disc then turns back into its small um, shape, and you're currently all on the stairs. And he takes it back into his cloak. Well, can I look my arm out to see if the eagle will land on my arm? Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> so what do we What do we see? Um. Yes, uh, give me a moment. <laughs> Nothing, you're blind. Uh. Ooh, can I peek around the corner, maybe? I'm going to push an, uh, backwards, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> gonna go first. Okay, uh... Gently. 
Just kind of like move her, I suppose. Yes. All right. So move her back. Let this be a lesson. Yes. To take. I knew this was gonna Everything happen. slowly. Because the goblin gets an attack of opportunity. <laughs> Three goblins actually get an attack of opportunity. Oh. I'm okay with this. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi. So I'm gonna need everybody to throw initiative. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, no. Yeah. Wrong one. Oh my god. Congratulations. Press the initiative button. It's plus four. It's twenty. Okay. So then I will throw initiatives for both of your friendos. Hit me where it hurts. Well, no, it was three and three. Um, <laughs> but actually, um, their initiatives are going to be faster than me. So it's Ashran at 20, and then uh, I gotta do the secret rolls. Wait, this is <laughs> dex, right? Yeah. Oh, that's 24. Okay, hold oh, on. No, that's just 20. Because uh, it already adds dex. Hold on. Trying to make sure that I don't mess this up. Sorry. <laughs> It's fine. And then... Okay, so... The... Creepy Goblin got a nat 20 on initiative. Oh. Yes. Dang it, I wanted to kill him first because I don't know what he does. Yeah, you guys still don't know what those types do. It's so funny to me. I think it's they're just a caster. Come on, they're, ma but... they're mages, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um... Then, let's see, I need to throw, well actually I need to look at the stats for that eagle really quickly. Um, <laughs> the eagle! So it's going to be, hold here, it's seven, yeah. uh, it's six, cloaked <laughs> in at eight, and Roll then, the combo attack it. Uh, <laughs> kill the goblin. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, that would be like just like a slow mo. Gary, now I know I was wrong. I'm <laughs> just shattering the goblin okay, into like so another realm. The now we're gone. the <laughs> creepy goblin is going <laughs> to cast orb of confusion. Oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, let's see. He's gonna cast the spell. Okay. <laughs> Descriptive. <laughs> yes. It is going to be targeted at you. This isn't this isn't his turn, by the way. These are the attacks of opportunity. Yeah. Um, so the first, okay. the attacks of opportunity come. So um, actually, the other one who's brandishing the club isn't gonna get one, but the other two are. So attack of opportunity from Sword Goblin. Uh, that one's gonna miss, gonna miss, even with modifiers. And the second one is gonna fire <laughs> off a... Uh, uh, that one. Let's see. <laughs> Shooting himself with it. An Eldritch Blast, why not? Ooh! Ooh. Yo, hello. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> you guys had to say something. Okay, so now I gotta throw damage for it. That's, that's what Ackles throws, Eldritch Blasts. Tune into Draenora on Saturdays. <laughs> 6.30 CST. Be there. Oh, oh yeah. Um, but be Achilles sure to catch up on YouTube by... at D&D Universe. Ackles is played by me, Delta. That, that's for those of you watching the stream. Obviously, if you're watching on YouTube right now. Yeah. Be cool. sure to subscribe. Hey. So, um, you never miss an upload. True. Anyway, yeah, away, anyway, apart from our cool. shameless so, advertising. <laughs> shameless, shameless plugging, shameless plugging. Um, the Eldritch Blast is going to fly and then hit the Sword Goblin square in the back. <laughs> Gary, now I know. I and know. we're arguing and go. Now you're Yeah, going. and then they're, they're just... <laughs> 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 what, what did arguing they say? With each other. What did they say? I want to know. So the, the Sword Goblin said, What the hell? What the nine? What in the nine hells? Um, and then the creepy goblin is gonna be like, "You got in my way." Oh. Um, and then the sword goblin is gonna say, 
Fuck you, man. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, go I'm going to butt into the conversation and say, if you join us, we won't... <laughs> oh, sorry. If you join us, we won't kill you! <laughs> Sounds like a toad voice. Yeah, a little I bit. Because it has to be higher yeah, pitched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, make oh, a I persuasion like check. Make a persuasion check. Rolls a 20. Okay. <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> Yeah, nah. Like, <laughs> nah. Oh. Um, taken aback at the, taken aback for a moment that you're speaking goblin. You're speaking their native tongue. Um, the, <laughs> the creepy goblin um, hesitates for a moment before firing off a witch bolt. Oh, what God, is that? Hesitating. That sounds cool. It's a first level spell. Yo, that goblin's awesome. Can I? Can I have He's him cool. as a teammate? Yes. Can he be my pet? So he's going to reach. <laughs> he's gonna reach into, um, like, uh, like the folds in his uh, sort of like shorts, fat. like the their folds in shorts, <laughs> and he's gonna pull out a twig that seems to be scorched, um, oh. and then he's going to uh, point it towards um, Kashrin, no, no. Um and. A beam of crackling blue energy lances out towards you. Yo, that's kind of so just neat. jumping across the air. So it, it, it comes out of this like somewhat wand and it flies towards you. Um, and I need to make a ranged spell tech against your AC. And you're you're researching how this works. That's gonna be a Whoa. twenty. That beats your AC, right? Yeah, I don't think I can catch that either with Deflect Missile. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't... Hold on, let me actually check. I might be able to. Okay. A ranged weapon attack. No, this is a ranged no, spell attack. No, this is a ranged spell, yeah. So you take 1d12 lightning Bummer. damage. Oh, yo, this is so cool. I was gonna say, this is really cool. Mm. I can't even be mad. If this thing gets the full 12, I'll be like, you know what? Yeah. I'll give him a clap. Yeah, give him that single clap. In game, I'll give him a clap. A thunder clap. <laughs> Yo, can I can I grab the goblin? Uh no. <laughs> you you don't you don't have enough time to do a reaction like that. <laughs> That'd be so crazy. Um, share the grab pain. him and throw him. And no, then... share the pain with oh, us. We're connected. So you take a d12 lightning damage. Yeah. So 7 plus 2, and you take 9 points of damage. That's awesome. And then... I can't, I can't be mad. He is going to... Yeah, I perfectly strategically put that, because he had to be within 30 feet of you. <laughs> uh -huh. Then he is going to take a step back. <laughs> Actually, he's gonna take two steps back, out of view. You can you can kind of still see a little sliver of him. <laughs> <laughs> you can see like his nose poking out. Just hold on, just hold on. I need to. One second. You're gonna angle it perfectly so you see his nose. Oh. Boop. <laughs> As the pixelated darkness yeah. eats away at him. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright. That was awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and then it's going to be um, Cloakman. Oh, he rolled a nat 22 then. Get him, Cloakman. Yeah. You've got this. Use your magical cloak and eat him. Ah, okay. Um... Then, Cloakedman is going to hold his action. What? And what does that mean? And watch the corridor across the way. So you know how you're facing the this goblin that's next to you? It's to your right, yeah. And you can, you're going to see, like... You, you know how the, the magic is in, in Doctor Strange, where, like, there's a circle that comes from his hand and is in yeah. front of it? Yeah, there, there's like a green one of those that he kind of just holding on his hand. Um, and he's kind of just watching the corridor. Okay. Um, then it is going to be...
Uh, Club Goblin. Did Club Goblin use his previous uh, action to take out Bo? No, he just has his club. He, he didn't. He didn't. He, he didn't. Sorry. He didn't get an action. He just got a um, an attack. Of, he didn't get anything because he wasn't in range to attack oh, you. Oh yeah, get it. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry about that. No, it's fine. It hasn't come to you yet. Yeah, um, my, my mother had a printer. Uh, had a printer. Using a printer. <laughs> so club goblin's gonna club goblin. He's gonna go. Mur, mur, mur. Mur, mur, mur. Uh, yeah, so he's gonna walk up and. Well, he's actually gonna run up and go. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be. He doesn't. He isn't saying anything. He's uh, just charging towards you. War cry. Yeah, it's like some sort of war cry, and he's going to try and smack at you. Do not smack at me. Do not smack me. Why are you bullying? Um, don't don't tapu bulu me. <laughs> <laughs> okay and he is going to um hit you in the back of the knee to bring you down to a knee and then hit you in the side of the head oh my god ouch and that's he that's gonna nice. that's gonna deal 12 points of damage <laughs> Christ, these guys are messing me up. It's my fault. Yep. <laughs> Let this be a lesson! <laughs> no, this is why you don't push me. Never, an never anger the DM. Nah, I'm not angry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you see, the problem I made was not swapping spots like that. No, the problem you made I was not stealthing. <laughs> you know? Yo, you right. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm, I've got these points in stealth, and I'm not <laughs> using them. Uh, so, now, uh, after... Now, by the way, you're knocked down on one knee, but you're not considered prone. I didn't okay. say that he knocked you prone. Um, then it is going to be... Eagle. <gasps> and he is going to soar down. Um, and as he does so, he's going... Uh, what? I saw a sliver of the elf boy. Oh yeah, probably for a second. Um, because I didn't want to take him out and put him back in, so he's just technically, uh, his token is still under there. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Um, so, as he's flying, he's going to kind of um, move one of its wings, um, and then two feathers are going to fly like arrows at each of the goblins. That's so cool! I need to make two spell attacks. Not spell attacks, just range attacks. Okay, so it's gonna go in the order of initiative for these guys, just so I'm gonna do it for you guys. Um, so the first one is going to hit the yeah, the first one's gonna hit Club Goblin, and the second one's gonna hit Sword Goblin. Oh, the two's gonna land? No, it's not. I was saying that's what oh, it was okay. targeted. So the two isn't gonna land on yeah. Club Goblin. Um. But it's gonna be Sword Goblin who takes the crit. So yeah, poor guy. I'm assuming this does at least one d6. <gasps> um, the two is the crit though. No, that's just the damage. Like that's the crit. Damage. Wow. Um. Okay. Wait, no. I'm doing this stupid. Um, it's Are that you... times two. It's twenty. Um. That a lot. That a lot of good. So, the arrow flying through, uh, the the steel-like feather flying through the air like an arrow is what I meant to say. Um, flies and hits the sword goblin like square in the forehead, and his head like goes back for a bit. Until he like brings it back forward and like there's greenish blood dripping in, like dripping down his face. And it's kind of just, and then it loses its steel like qualities um, and kind of just flops in the wind now, the feather, <laughs> as he moves. Oh, I was hoping you'd be stuck there. I was going to push it in. It is stuck there, but it's not, it doesn't have its same uh, hardness, it would seem. Oh, that's, that's and the other one just effort. lands you... further out. Probably would have impaled myself on it. And then it is going to be, uh, 
Kashrin. Oh, I need healing. <laughs> I. So I'm gonna go ahead, punch the sword goblin in the face. Okay. And I figured out when I attack something, I can use the second attack to attack something else. Yeah, you can. So I'm really happy about that. You, so you, first, you just get to take the attack, first first. the attack action twice. Yeah, I'm, I'm a hit that guy. In front of that. <laughs> so close to a twenty. Yeah. Okay. Did it? Uh, fifteen? No, that's not gonna hit. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and abandon that, and I'm gonna hit club man. Okay. Neither of them landed. No, neither of them did. Um, and since neither of them landed, oh, it's immediately after I take the attack action. I can still flurry of blows. Oh, I'll do it. Jeez. Bummer. Oh, it's gonna land. And I think that one is too. Yes, both of them are gonna land on the on which target? Which target? The club. Yes. Okay. Did he take? I don't think he took any damage before. No, he didn't. Yeah, no, because otherwise I would have marked it. So yeah, he's he's still standing. Dang it. You still have an She's extra attack. Taken out. I don't. No, you used your flurry of blows. That's two attacks. I hit twice and then you I. You only uh, hit once. Flurry. Didn't you? No, I hit twice. Oh, yeah, you I, did. I'm not gonna cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't, no, I didn't see. I didn't see the nine. Uh huh. I didn't see the nine. Uh, but yeah, okay, so do you, do you want to move still? Because you, you have another action, technically. Um. <laughs> can I can I move back here? No, it's like, completely blocked. Shove right in the I am, uh, it's blocked. I am going to yeah, say back. to Kosher and yeah. Wait, never mind. Okay, so we move. No, back I'm, there. I think I think yeah. I think I'm just gonna move back. Okay. Okay. I won't say anything then. Oh, basically, I'm blocking you guys. Actually, can I can I move over here? Instead? Well, technically, um, they're on the stairs. Yeah, so we have good view. Oh, they're above, that's right. Yeah. So they could shoot over me. I, I guess, yeah, that works. Because in either case, one of them is going to hit me, not both. I think. Yeah, and the, in yeah, the that, that's good. Um, eagle is 10 feet in the air. Okay. Yeah, th that's it. Okay. Um, then it's going to be Raldir's turn. Well, uh, wait on. Um, okay, so does does uh, he look obviously pretty banged up? I'm guessing. Which one? Um, Caution. Both of them, probably. Yeah, Caution. I think Caution's looking pretty banged up. How much health do you have? I've uh, twelve. Yeah, pretty banged up. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna, in this cuts. case, I'm gonna play support. Okay. Uh, I'm going Angie's to. That, oh yeah, that's right. Angie's. And she's the cleric. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you know what? I shoot really don't, them. I really don't want to shoot the eagle, but if I have to, okay. So I'm gonna. Don't shoot the eagle. No, I know. Uh, but like, if I get a one, I'm gonna shoot uh, Clubman. Yeah, you can yeah, only see. Yeah. You can't see Sword Goblin because he's up against the wall. So yeah, from yeah. your angle of view, you can you can only I can see, see Clubman. Clubman. And eagle. Yeah. All right. So nah, one. Nah, one. Not one. Also, wait on. Do I have advantage because I'm above? No. <laughs> Oh, because I had the high ground. No. All right. So I've got the high hits. ground club. Into yeah, that's gonna hit. Oh, I was about to make that reference. Yeah. So loading um, another shot into divine fury. At you uh, just pop this thing's head. Just yeah. It's just all right. And then his, his headless body kind of just slumps to the ground. Just thump. Thud. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Nice suit. Nice to catch. Uh, what else do you want to do? You still have an action. 
Um, wait on, so I could technically heal her? Yes. I will. Okay. Because I'm a good one. Okay. But I'm only going to use my first level spell slot. Okay. So 1d8. 1d8. 1d8 plus... Um, intelligence. Intelligence, yeah. right. Yeah, that's it. That's 1d8 plus 3. Nat 1. Nat, wait, no. Give me an 8. <laughs> you heal 9 points damage. <laughs> what a kind boy. You know, it's like, hey, I gotta, gotta do what I gotta do. Alright, um, and with that, your turn is over. Uh, Anna, it's now your turn. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I don't think you can, like, move forward. If she takes a few steps back, she can get a running start. And jump and over jump. us? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Alright. Be crazy. You have to have ten feet. <laughs> and you trigger the lava trap. What? Shit! You forgot about <sighs> it. I didn't know where it was. Oh. Well, so you're not you're not trapped in, but now you're barricaded off. Oh. Well, I mean, at least I'm not trapped in it. <laughs> can can we hear that? Can oh yeah, it's very loud, clanking, and then the great um, lands right behind you, kind of barely scraping um, Raldir's booty. <laughs> my, I say, who touched my butt? Ah, oh, I, I my tuchus. I, I haven't felt that in a long time. My so, what else do you do? <laughs> it seems I'm going to have to wait. <laughs> Make a tactical retreat. <laughs> tactical retreat! Nigarundayo! <laughs> Smokey! Are you gonna do anything? <laughs> okay. You should move back as a lava. Well, from where she where she's standing, the, the lava um, goes into the grate. She's not a, she's not on the inside where you were. And we shouldn't be affected either, because No, it's just really warm now. Like it's getting, <laughs> it's getting toasty. Toasty! We notice we notice a change in temperature. Everyone gets in the mood. Oh lord. Uh... <laughs> it's it's one of those Christmas movies where everyone's by the fireplace. Nope, it's tumbling. So the um Sword Goblin is going to um Captain America ricochet his shield. Uh, like this. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> That's weird. I How hope so? It doesn't get stuck in the wall. No, and instead it just flies and then lands on the ground. And for a second, he you can tell that he's having this inner reflection of why did I think that would work? <laughs> Anything's possible with that twenty. Um, and then he's going <laughs> to awesome. run away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Um, then the round goes back to the top of the round, and move using half of his movement. To move, uh, are you within 30 feet? Behind yes, you are. Behind a wall. Uh, that doesn't matter with this spell. Um, so, Witch Bolt, on each of his turns, can automatically target and deal damage to the same target. Yo! Oh no. So, so he doesn't even have to cast it again and like, hit no. me with it. He just, it just gives me the damage. Yeah, so he um, points his wand in that direction, and then... It crackles and arcs and then turns the corner and then hits you. Which bolt is awesome, guys. <laughs> Yo, it's so it's neat. neat. It, for a, for a first level spell, it's really cool. And you take nine. No, that's 11 points of lightning damage. Oh my god. Why? Well, hey. Because he gets plus two from his charisma modifier. Jeez. That's a very charismatic goblin. <laughs> Y'all mind if I join your team? <laughs> Yeah, sure. And then with the other half of his movement, he's gonna move back. Away with you. And then it is going to be um, Elfman's turn, who's going to drop his form and revert. 
then pull out his bow and take a shot at uh, Sword Goblin. I was, for, I was trying to remember what I called him. <laughs> Sword Goblin. He misses. Yeah, he does miss. Ah, <sighs> he was so cool before. Yeah, now I'm gonna die. <laughs> and then... How many like, times can he you. zap me? On each of its turns. <laughs> Is it... Wait, it's a cantrip? No. No, it's a spell. That's just, effect of the, that's just an effect of the spell. Oh. Oh. It's actually... It... it it, it's um, it lasts for a concentration of up to one minute, so um, the top of the round already passed. Uh, so technically, um, from he can't do it to you. Hmm. Okay. Uh, but then it is going to then Cloakman is going to do the same thing. Uh, watching that entrance. And then it is going to be uh, Raldir's turn. All right. Um. So, uh, okay. So you said the only way to get through here is to jump over them, and I don't have a running start because I have the grate behind me. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Well, I already used. Heal me again. <laughs> <laughs> you, you monster. Uh, well, uh, hmm. Okay. I'm gonna ask, hmm. right quick. Yeah. If I move, can I fly? Like, uh, if I move my full movement, then fly? No. Do I get the flight move? Okay. Just wanted to ask. You, you can't get, like, a run of 30 and then a fly of 60 for a total of 90. Ah, uh, it's... Ah, uh, you know what? I should have used a spell while Wizardman was here. I, I could have used the Sanctuary spell on you, and then he would have had to make a Wisdom saving throw. Oh, that would have been me. Yeah, that would have been me. And then, and then he would have had to choose someone else. I'm going to say to Caution, uh, Caution, I would suggest maybe moving back. You don't look in the best of health. I don't feel it either. Well, at least let me move forward so I can get a better shot, I suppose. Well, it's not my turn. I, I, I can't move, can I? Nope. Exactly. <sighs> <laughs> Throw me back. <laughs> Yo, hold me back! Hold uh, me back! Uh, if it was a larger space, you'd be able to get between the two of them, but um, this is a very cramped space. Especially with Cloakman, like, out in casting form, like, ready. Mm. I bet he's taking up a wide stance. Well, I mean, I literally can't do anything. Anything that would be useful. I mean, if I move here, can he squeeze? That's all I wanted. Well, you can yeah. hold... Okay, so what you can do, you can hold your action. So, um, if something happens, like, if you get an opening... Uh, so let's say you say, okay, I hold my action until I see something to shoot. So, if during the tur the time where, um, like, let's say a goblin walked into your, your line of sight, you'd be able to take a shot on him. That's essentially what um, Cloakman is doing right now. It's called holding your action. So I just want to shoot. I just want to go put the aim over here because everyone else is going over there. But I suppose I'll just do that because I can't move anywhere. So I'll just hold my action, I guess, until I see okay. anything that I can shoot. Now it is Anna's turn. Yep. All right. Is, is, is it still up? Hi there. Yeah, it's still up. It's there for three rounds. Oh my god, there's nothing I can do. I can't. Well, you could probably toss a healing word at Koshrin or something. Oh, right. Okay, hold on. 
There are things you can do. Oh. You can walk around. You can count. You, you can count your ABCs. <laughs> A one, B two, C three. Don't you mean C four? <laughs> Kalabu what? Kalabushi four. <laughs> Yumshake six. <laughs> That's the letter G in Turkish. Okay. Yumshake. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Angie. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a 1d4, but it says I can increase it by 1d4 each level. Sure. Well, when you get to the fifth level, it's 2d4. Okay. Right? It's it's when that's for your level it goes up. Okay, so I roll two instead. Yeah, it's two d four. Oh right, I got an upgrade. Plus your wisdom, so it's two d four plus five. Oh. All right, so I got right. a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. You Here regain you eleven points of health, Kashrin. <gasps> yes. I give him a slight thumbs up. Just mark that down. I went back to the normal. Okay, so a round is six seconds. He can still come up and zap. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Whose turn is it now? Um, it is Sword Goblin's turn, who is going to continue to run away. <laughs> He's going to expedite retreat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and then retreat. it's gonna come back to the top of the round. And I think you know what's gonna happen next! Cloakman's gonna hold his turn! Oh yeah, he rolled a nat 20. <laughs> Zop! Zop! 12 points of lightning damage! I'm starting to hate that move. <sighs> <laughs> and then run away! It's not a beat. Oh my god! Okay. So, um, I, okay, so this is a bit of a, a reference to uh, the first uploaded episode of... Um, actually, no, this was something that wasn't an uploaded episode of Draenora, so... Um, not all of you might get this, but this is the same tactic that you were using to fight the Sand Sharks. You were moving outside of the barrier and then back in. And <laughs> outside and then back in. <laughs> so. I'm about to kill that man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she mad. Oh, I skipped Kasher in that last round. Whoops. Um, <laughs> That's what I kind of thought. Yeah, I did skip you. Okay, so before you take the damage, you get to do something. Okay. Move back. Move back. Okay. No, that doesn't help. Um, But then I could take a shot, and you can stop taking damage. Since my flight... Oh, well, you can my also... My flight doesn't take up a full action. No, you just turn on your so, wings. I'm going to fly my full 70... It's 60. It's 60? Yeah, it's 60. I'll fix that. Yeah. My whole 60! <laughs> wow, you, how did you know exactly where he was in the darkness? <laughs> uh, you know I know these things. <laughs> okay. Let me fix that right quick. 60. Give him the rest of all of your small daggers. Um, I am going to destroy him. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a swift dive kick as I fly through. Okay, so this is an important lesson for magic users. If you have a spell that requires concentration, this is what happens every single time you take damage. Throw damage, because that hits. We have to do this in intervals, because I have to do a reaction. So I, so I need to maintain my concentration on a constitution saving throw. I kicked him okay? in the face. Yes, but he might be able to still no, maintain his concentration. So I, I have to beat half of the damage that he took, that, that he dealt. So I need to roll higher than a six on my constitution saving throw. And I'll maintain okay. concentration. That's pretty easy for him to maintain, I'd assume. Well, that's a seven. So... <laughs> Even though well, he he's getting hit again. He... Eight, yeah, 18's gonna land. Deal damage. Okay, now I need to throw again. This time, beating five. No, six, because it rounds up. 
Yep, yep that one. He maintains concentration. Flurry of blows. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Th uh, throw, throw, throw damage for that one. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. That's 26. Yeah. You killed that man. And I'm gonna hit him again for the last flurry of blows because I really want. And you punch yourself in the face. <laughs> you still ended up taking the 12 damage. Yeah, I still did. <laughs> That's fine oh by me. God. You punch his wand. <laughs> I have to finish it, don't I? Uh, yeah, how do you want to kill him? I'm just gonna, as as I'm flying in, I'm gonna kick him. Okay. Punch him. Okay. And then jump up and just flip around and kick him into the ground. Okay. And while I'm doing that, I hurt my leg. No, he, he fires a, a bolt up at you. As as he's dying, just, eh, hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's where that that's where I'm gonna say the twelve damage came from. <laughs> I did not expect you guys to take this much damage from that gun. It's just me. <laughs> it's just him because he refused oh, to move. Since you were hold since you're holding your action, you can move out into the open. By the way. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna spit on his corpse. Just Oh my okay. I'm so stuck. It's a, yeah. a bloody spit, because I'm probably like really hurt. It just yeah. Patoon. Out your beak. <laughs> um, okay, then it is going to be uh <laughs> it was gonna be his turn. Um now it is Elfman's turn. Who uh decides to make a stealth check. Fails while he moves across this way. <laughs> he trips. Oh. Falls on his face. Ow. Um, then Cloakman is going to move up. And now it's <sighs> Raldir's turn. Cool. Well, um, can I... So this guy's on the floor, right? Yeah, he's, he's dead. dead. His, head, his head is exploded. In... What's over here? Um, yeah. Okay, so what is over there? Ten goblins. You see about that far. <laughs> Yours, um, can I play a Murloc Shaman? <laughs> <laughs> well, huh. You know, I'm gonna go over here to check on my compatriot. Okay. Also, what can I see over here? Is it just a hallway? Oh, no. Peek your head over. There. Uh, stealth check. Yeah, it's it's it seems to be a hallway that goes further. Ah, pixelation. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. Am I at a corner right now? Or right yes, here? you are. Can I also, I can see. My head? Uh, wait, oh yes. Uh, actually, yes. Kashrin can see. So. So what is there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably a sword goblin. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's the sword goblin the that has the feather goblin. flopping in his forehead. <laughs> you know what? Okay, so. Uh, I guess I didn't. When, it, when see. he's coming up to the corner, can I like point? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna point like. Uh, okay, so can I see him now? Like, am I at a good enough angle or no? Um, no. You, you need know, to move up one more. If I was here. Yeah, you could. I'm going to try to shoot the swordman. Okay. <laughs> the sword goblinman. The sword shoot goblinman. <laughs> Make him suffer. Shoot him in the knee. Blow his knee out. Oh. Let's see. Just shatter his knee. I, um, no, that didn't. That didn't land. That's a fourteen. Uh, you were aiming for his knees, no, but they were so tiny <laughs> that <His> tiny knees. <laughs> it dodged like it moved um, and hit the side of him, like hit where next to him. <laughs> hit the side of the mountain. <laughs> oh. Um, and then it is going to be on Oz's turn. It's it's still there. <laughs> Yes, because it's there for three, three rounds. So one more. This yeah, is the, I, think, I think this is the last one. At least someone's. <laughs> you slowly count the drips of lava that fall from the ceiling. <laughs> one drip, uh, two drip, three drip, three, four drip. Seven. seven. Two drip. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Damage so high. <laughs> I think I did a flu. <laughs> <laughs> I think I threw a critical. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
Nope. Well, uh, um, <laughs> you have the cloakman kind of around you. Okay, so, um... You're not gonna do anything? No, um, I can't do anything, really. Meditate. Exactly. Okay, um... Then it is going to be Sword Goblin Min's turn. He's gonna run away. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> he what? turns around, looks at the mangled corpse, and cries out, Yee! Yee! He yeah. squeezes. <laughs> he squeezes. And he's he's not there anymore. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pixelation. <laughs> ah, pixelation. <laughs> you see a weird, <laughs> a weird fog envelop him, square by square, <laughs> inch by inch. Um. Uh, but at that point, combat is over. I'm gonna run after him. <laughs> Are you? I had a bad idea, you. I'm gonna throw an arrow at him. No. Wait. I'm gonna stealth immediately. Okay. <laughs> Learning my check. lesson, I'm going to stealth. Make a stealth check. I'm wrong, die! <laughs> Plus it's seven. It's 18. Yeah, 18. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty good stealth. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna bold man. I'm gonna walk right walk right up here. What do I see trap. over here? It's a trap. Um You see oh. a stairwell going downwards. Do I see goblin men? Uh you see a stairwell. No, just a stairwell. Nice. You fool! Check for traps at least. Nice. Open the place up. You f you would have it's a stairwell going down, so you would have to like move closer to see over the edge. Uh, is it right here? Uh, yeah, just about. I'm gonna go over to the the edge, to, like the corner here, and I'm gonna peek my head through. Uh, you're just gonna walk up. Like you know what? I'm gonna stay over here, and I'm gonna keep to the edge. Well, of the wall. okay, so one square at a time, please. Okay, oh no. So well, no, just so I can show you what you're seeing. So when you move to like right about here to um, you can see a little bit further down this hallway over here. Not always a bad thing, guys. It's scary. Oh, okay. So. I don't want to see down the hallway. Yeah, so. You know what? Okay, so I'll move here then. Okay. All right, what was it? From where you are? Yeah, from where I am. Okay. You, you just... Oh, over yeah, there? That... Yeah. In. I don't want this fog of war anymore. <laughs> Why? You can't. I, just, I want all to be revealed. <laughs> okay, really hold insight. on, hold on, hold on. At that point, the walls go up, and now you can move. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, wait for the lava yes! to drain completely. Uh, wait for the lava to drain. Um. Well, I guess I'll. Once I get to this wall, I don't okay. know, stealth. Stealth against the wall. It was stealth check. Wait. Alright. It's all been drained, right? Or is it still drained? It's drained, it's drained. Okay. Finally! I'm back! Beep beep! That's a, that's a pretty good stealth, okay. So what are you gonna do with that stealth? Hold on, peek my head around the corner here. Okay, so... Uh, you catch a glimpse. Of something rather terrifying. Oh no. You see... Your mother. <laughs> <laughs> A large blue runic circle. Oh my god! Uh, in this large circular room. I already don't like this because there are three of the witch casters. <laughs> All right, well, um... and you hold on. This is the terrifying part because magic circles are creepy, but you can see the sword goblin standing in the center of a small pentagram. Oh, they're gonna sacrifice him! Yeah. And he's going, <laughs> he's going to take his sword oh, no. and jab it into his forehead. Oh, I knew it. And then the, oh. he's, his body's going to slump forward and the greenish liquid is going to seep into this pentagram. And then the pentagram turns from a blue to a green. Oh my god. <laughs> it's going to make him a big um, goblin. Alright, so at seeing this, I'm going to stop peeking my head around the corner. Kind of <laughs> walk back. Okay. Gonna, so I don't 
get into their gaze. I'm gonna walk kind of along the wall over here. Okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say to Kosharin, Kosharin, there are three caster goblins up there, and they just sacrificed another goblin. What? What? <laughs> just don't go up there. Do I know anything of sacrifices? Um. <laughs> they just sacrificed a goblin. Do I know what anything of know? sacrifices? You know what? Um, both of you do uh, an arcana check, I guess. Both of you who? Go ahead. Throw it out. Neither of you seem to recall any kind of ritual that requires a human sacrifice in anything that you've come across. And by human, I mean... Uh, soul, something that has a soul. Trust me, these goblins are gross and weird. Oh, you believe him. You believe what he's saying. You just oh, can't I, recall I, anything I, like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm gonna. After hearing that, I I don't know if they're within earshot. The two over here. Oh yeah, they are. They are. Okay. Yeah. Okay, upon hearing this, I'm going to turn around, wearily, and say, I need healing. I'm sorry. She sorry. coughs out a lung and heals you with it. <laughs> <laughs> you drink of the healing juices. Of the healing That's lung. air. <laughs> no, the blood, the juices of the blood. Alright, oh uh, it increases by 1d8. Each per, level? No, per, per spell, spell slot you use. Uh, so level is for your level, spell slot is your slots. So Free. I have... So I'd only roll one? If you want to cast it at second level, you could throw two. Just keep track of how many spell slots you're using. So, Alright, I'll use one first. Okay. So you, you cast at, at first level, and um, that is a 12 point heal. So you recover the damage that you got from the most recent I was gonna say from punching yourself, but that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> from bashing my face into the ground. <laughs> uh, right, from so the from the witch bolt. After that is done, I'm going to then turn back to Raldir and say, "We need to make haste." I I say, pointing over in this direction. Let's just go this way. You're what gonna they end up cornering us. You're gonna hear from the back. I don't think it's a good idea to let them finish the ritual. The the oh, goblin is already the goblin's already dead. If we can stop it or interrupt it, maybe cancel it out? Possibly. Well maybe at least let me fire a shot at one of the goblins first. I Go suppose. for it. Just be quick. So we can don't I know see how much goblin? time we have. No, my... stairwell going down, man. Oh yeah, oh that's we're stealth too, so like, we're, we're, we're gonna. Well, you and he away. are stealthy. Yeah. Can I <clears throat> poke my head out again? I'm in the shadows. Uh, from this angle, you. That's why I say you only caught a glimpse. You'd have to move up five more feet to get now, a shot. Okay, so okay, so it's a stairwell going down. So what if I like went like prone to try to shoot him? So I'd be prone, but I might. Have from your angle, you can hit. You can see the one that's farthest from you. Wait, it has a hundred and twenty foot range. This one? Yeah, you can see that one very uh, clearly. You know what? I'm going to try to shoot him. Go my they all cast which okay. My you. sniper accuracy. Um, that's a sneak attack, so uh, throw with advantage. Advantage! Yeah! Yeah, bidet. Ow. <gasps> I'm so glad it's Getting the ones out of the way, getting the ones out of the way. <laughs> So glad we got the advantage. So that eleven does not hit him, yes. No, it doesn't. Does it hit any of them? No. Probably alert them though. Actually, 
Upon closer inspection, you can see that all of them are chanting something, and their eyes are gro are glowing this uh this yellow greenish color. I can't stop. And they don't seem they don't seem to be phased at all. I can just imagine the. Oh, and by the way, the sound of lightning is striking as you fire your thunder cannon because it's loud as balls. I can't stop this feeling. Oh, you guys should have said that there was a little. He's a shadow there. What? Where? What? Oh, was? oh, oh, the line. <laughs> There's a line. I thought you were talking about the one where I'm engulfed into a wall, but yeah, no. That's oh, you're just you're just standing in a wall. That's it. Yeah. I dude, am one time. with the wall. <laughs> no one can see me now. I wish we could go in the middle of like the lines. That'd be so nice. I think if you click and hold, if you hold Alt and then left click, you can move like that. Oh yeah, I can. That's perfect. <laughs> All right. So as soon as he fires that, Whoa. do I see that they get a response, or am I too far away? Uh, you're too far away. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and move upwards a bit, and okay. like still still sneaky to the shadows. <laughs> you didn't seem to hit one. No. Um. I could only manage to see the farthest one, and he was. Yeah, uh, I missed him. I just missed him. You guys hear like, that? Well, that was the sound of me hitting my hand to my forehead after I just taught you how to stand not in walls. <laughs> also, I... Better? Yes. Sorry, hold on. I Also, when I say I just missed him, I'll make like that little like thing with your fingers it's like you put like your thumb and your pointer like like yeah. really tiny amount away from each other and uh, like yeah. kind of like shake it a little bit like... Better? I, I just missed. <laughs> and you're upside down. <laughs> and I've gone into the shadows I into go. Into the ethereal plane. <laughs> no, I just deleted you. <laughs> Yo, I just got Monica. Yo. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You see a schoolgirl appear in front of you. Just Monica. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a dart at one of them. The um, dart sized. Arrow. Oh my god. Okay. While still, like, hiding. For creative purposes, I'll say that you have proficiency with this. Professional darts. Professional darts live. Okay. Okay, so... Just, just a, make just a, a net 20? Or just a just 20, a, make, a, make a ranged attack, so yeah, just throw a 20 and then... Plus 7. <laughs> plus... Oh, I can just do this then? Yeah. No, you you miss. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> you you sling one of the arrows like a dart, oh, but I not get, not it's use a sneak attack, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, it is a sneak attack. So go ahead and throw it advantage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a D four of damage, by the way. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right. Wait, a D four, not oh, a D six. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> one D four. Okay. Not plus anything? It is plus seven, because oh. I think, I think dart- well, actually, no, because you're not- It's an arrow. <sighs> I'm saying that you're proficient with it, but not. not for damage, okay? Uh, yeah, no, I, I shouldn't be proficient anyway. No, you deal plus four, because you add your dexterity for throwing. I do, actually. So, seven damage, and I have to make a concentration check. That one. Yeah, that's gonna- that's gonna hold up. Uh, so the concentration holds, and the dart lands squarely in his knee, in his right knee. Oh, he'll but he doesn't—he doesn't, he doesn't sure seem phased. What? Yeah, he rolled a ten, man. On the concentration check. Oh, my knee! Okay, I'm going to just yell out to the others to come like quickly. They—they don't—they seem to be concentrating. Because they didn't react to that at all, did they? No. I mean, they didn't react to my loud-ass gun. Yeah. Before um, you have a chance to move... Anna? El Anna, yeah. Cloakman grabs you by the leg. No, um... Uh, yeah, you're right here. Could've sworn I had one of these. <laughs> a portal opens up. No, oh. not a not a portal. It's God. 
<laughs> the DM, the DM falls down. comes DM out of the a, pentagram. A shimmering pillar of light comes down. Hello, my daughter. <laughs> Wait, what? Taps you on the forehead. You now have infinite hit points. <laughs> you now succeed on everything ever. <laughs> Wait, no, wait. I'm the Asimar, come on. You hear uh -huh. keyboard typing S V cheats. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to find something right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That'd be really funny though, just S V cheats. You now have so unlimited cheats. hit points. Yes. Be safe. Be wary. And hit those nat twenties. Uh, <laughs> and as for you, my Asimar gives you a modern day sniper rifle. He flexes <laughs> you die. This is straight up sniper rifle. Just like here. Gives you like an op. <laughs> I I thought I thought I had one. Oh man. Okay. Oh boy. I know what it is. Oh no. It's the banana from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pickle banana. on a chain. <laughs> it's the pickle on a chain. <laughs> yeah, well, that was that was from day one. It screams out in agony as it comes out uh, of the corner. Monster from under. Day, no, it's no, been no, a lot no, of. That was some day. That was some day one D and D with the pickle on a chain. That was good. Pickle on a chain that, was good. That was good. That, that was a fun. <laughs> the man in the cloak <laughs> with the pickle on the chain. The man <laughs> with the dancing mask. Yes. I'm kind of. I'm kind of tempted to write a one shot based around him. <laughs> Based around Yo, the guy I with the know pickle how he on became that. How did he get that pickle on a chain? And where did he get his <laughs> dancing mask? Where did he get the <gasps> dancing mask? Yo, I'd, oh, I'd, love to, I'd, I'd love to see that one shot. Seriously. He was a perfectly normal man until he put on the dancing mask. Until he put like on the mask. And like it, it, hell. Just, just for um, comedic purposes, it's the same story as the mask with, uh, oh my God. <laughs> with Jim Carrey. And then instead of police, it's like town guards. Yeah. It's, it's ex <laughs> <laughs> We're stalling. Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It is working. It is working. Thank you. Keep it up. <laughs> uh, right. But, uh, oh, what was it? Um, yo, not even just a one off. Just, like, tell the story and just record it. You know, I also remember the. The dancing, the, well, the dancing mask man, he also came trying to kill us during the night. Because of, uh... No, he didn't! Yeah, he did! Nah. Uh, nah, of course not. Nah. <laughs> you said we saw the same dancing mess. Oh yeah, I totally didn't upload... I haven't made these into the the pictures yet. My my apologies. Um, so <laughs> I... I I'm gonna use, um... I'm gonna use, uh... Just a... A throwaway one. Feels bad, man. You see a little bone skeleton. <laughs> you see a pork chop on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh. pork chop. There's something it is, it is a work. fully a fully cooked pork chop on a plate with like a side of mashed potatoes and peas. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting. Oh. Okay. There we yes. go. That's like oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bloody and. Whoa! No, this this thing? this thing is like uh uh let me let me grow it a bit. No, don't do it. Ah! It's more powerful. There we go. What that's is, that's about how big it is. What is that spell where it's like you create a small item? Um, the name is escaping me. Where you create like, a small item? Like small a small like, creation. Oh my! Like um, pff, it's is not the really one? there, but it's like you make it look like it's there, and it's only like oh minor like, illusion. Like, Minor illusion, yeah. Make a minor illusion of a steaming hot pork chop on a plate <laughs> with mashed potatoes and peas. <laughs> but it's very realistic. Since it is a very realistic. Okay, so that's what happens. Uh, the uh, oh, the goblin's body that was in the center slowly begins to bubble uh, as his his greenish flesh begins to melt away, and then. He begins to melt into this greenish puddle of boiling fleshy mass, and then rising from this mass comes this winged demon. Can I re-stealth? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a joke. Uh, so... 
What do you do? Like, well, 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 this um, is happening. Can well, I all right. You don't. You don't need to. You can't restall. <laughs> like you I can. Have. I can see the big man also, on campus stealth. over there, yeah. right? Yeah, you can. You can see it. Both of you guys can see it. Uh, I'm gonna kind of lean over to to st not Steric. I'm gonna lean over to Kosharin and I'm gonna say, should I take this shot? I'm going to ignore him and slowly back away. <laughs> okay. I'm going to roll stealth. Going to roll my eyes at this, and I'm gonna try to shoot the big man. Okay. While uh, while he's doing that, can I tell them what's going on? Uh, yeah. Yeah, what big happened? demon. Oh. <laughs> There's a big demon. There's a big demon. Very big. Do I have any kind of advantage? Hmm. Because I'm. Do I have advantage still? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's still technically considered a sneak attack. I <laughs> twenty isn't gonna land. What? How? It's a twenty. <laughs> well, it's not a nat twenty. That's the thing. But like, it's, it's gonna be a nat twenty to hit. <sighs> no, it, it's. So. Okay, that's good. Do I hit anything? Well, let me tell you what happens. Um. The, you take the shot and you you reload Divine Fury and you fire it, but this kind of reddish barrier um, seems to sort of deflect. Wait, hold on. Um, is the Thunder Cannon's attack considered magical? Um, that's the question of the day. <laughs> Let me check the bookmark. Yeah, I, isn't it like force damage or something? That you take? Well, it, it it just needs to be considered magical mm. so let me see at the end of the day it's just a rifle uh that's true but we'll have to see but it's also a magic rifle so i don't know or a shooty magic rifle shooty magic rifle yes yeah. yes it shooties it shooties magic it does shoot magic you're right but it's also a rifle. But so it's it could also, go, it yeah. could go either way. <laughs> so. Hmm. I think I need to make a ruling on this. Probably, yeah. Uh... Since we can't really tell. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that these are magical. Um. Yeah, the shots are magical because I think, I think the shots themselves are physical, but the no, like, that's okay. So you guys, you, you don't under no, 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 no. It's if it's branded magical, some creatures can't be damaged by things that, unless they're magical. Oh, I get it. So, so would you count this as magical? I w I'm gonna say that this is magical because it's saying that you forge a deadly firearm using a combination of arcane magic and your knowledge of engineering and metallurgy. I guess yeah. So I'm that gonna I'm there's it doesn't say that it's considered a magical weapon. It doesn't even consider it doesn't say that it's not considered. There's no ruling, but because it literally spits lightning, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that it's it's considered magic damage. So throw damage, not magic damage, <laughs> just a magical weapon. So throw damage. Okay, just like any other shot I would do. Yeah. So you blast a hole um, in one of its wings, but it slowly begins to. You can see the beginnings of it slowly starting to try and close itself, just very like a like molasses, just slowing I guess slowly. I could say, oh shoot! So everybody throw initiative. <laughs> that wasn't very cash money. By the way, all three of the. Goblins, there. As soon as the ritual is complete, um, probably dead. They're not dead. Dang oh, it! They're all, they're all probably looking at me. They're all gonna witch blood. Well, no, you're. <laughs> okay, so you're I need to. Uh, wait, on. Stealth. What? Oh yeah. No, as soon as you fire an attack, you're out of stealth. The reason why you were still considered stealth is because they weren't paying attention to you. Now, also, because I can only see this guy. Is he the only? This guy and Bigman. Is that the only people who can see me? Technically, now, yeah, both of them are looking at you after that shot, but you can't tell that the other ones are also looking in that direction. Okay. Um, so let me start to take down these initiatives. Uh, uh, 
then... Okay, um, so... Initiatives... Uh, boop boop. Throwing initiatives for my guys. And then... I need to throw initiatives for the other dudes in front of you. Because they're your allies. Hey! Hey! Finally going hey. first for once? Hey, I'm walking. That's hey. another three. Yeah. <laughs> when you shoot the demon, he immediately looks looks over to you, puts two thumbs up in different directions, and says, Hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, I'm spawning here. So yeah, it's going to be on off first. <gasps> oh, that's spooky. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. It's a big boy. It is a big boy, actually. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Uh, it's over there quickly. And I am going... Wait, you can't see on. You can't see them from that position. Shit. So count, about, count, your, uh, count your movement. Were you here? I was right here. So, hold right on. Right here? Yes. Then you're... Okay, so you've used half your movement so far, and you still you still can't see anything. Fucking it. Okay. You need to move up Go one more. Okay, there we go. So you have ten feet of movement left after that. Now you can see the demon and uh, the goblin behind him. That is a good. Okay. Now let me find the spell I was gonna use. All right. So we are gonna use the guiding bolt, which is a six and hit long range. So. This should be okay. Hold on, let me uh, look at Guiding Bolt really quickly. Um, guiding Bolt, 4d6. Uh, yeah, okay, so make a ranged spell attack. Roll. Uh, so, make a, make a ranged spell attack. Wait. <clears throat> so wait, roll it, basically. Roll an attack. Uh, yeah, that's, that's no, means. a d20. What? Roll the attack, not the damage. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 gonna miss. Yeah. So you have ten. You have ten feet of movement left. Let's just back up a bit. Alright. Just Okay, then it is going to be Raldir's turn. Alright. Get him, Raldir! I'm gonna shoot Bigman again. Okay. Alright. Yeah, Raldir! Yeah. yeah! So I'm guessing I do not have advantage anymore because they could see me. Yeah, you don't you're not stealth anymore. Yeah, do I hit him? Yeah, but you're gonna uh, hit him 19? Again. Yes. Yes! Thank the lord. That was a good one, too. Okay. Um, This time you blow a hole in one of his legs. Yes. Um, But as a reaction, he's going to hellish rebuke. Ah! Ah! (laughs) Wait, that's AoE? Oh, it's only a... I'm, I'm, I'm reading up on the spell right now. I think it's just the target. Uh, it's Hellish Rebuke. Of... Yeah. So, Dex 30 saving throw, my dude. Alright. He's gonna cast Hellish Rebuke in reaction at 4th level. <laughs> nice, you only take half damage. Yeah! So, at 4th level, that is 4d tons. Oh boy. I technically. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. He could kill me. So, 4, 10. Oh. Charisma. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> you take oh. half of that because you, succeed, you succeeded in your save. Yeah. Which I is 15. No, actually, that's 16. 16. Eat All right. 
Take 16 loser. points of fire damage. All right, I have 13 HP. I was about to say, oh jeez, how long is he? Yeah, that was a big one. That was a big you one. still have your movement. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Well, um, I'm gonna move back here. Okay. Um, not see me anymore. As far as you can tell. Um, no, I'm gonna move back here. Actually. <laughs> okay, then it's going to be uh, Cloakman's turn. Okay, how does? Uh, let me just double check on a spell really quick. All right. Oh yeah, that's. Yeah, brother. Okay. So the um the cloakman is going to grab onto um grab onto the elfman, and he's gonna snap his fingers and let's roll. Then say something in a language none of you understand. Wait, I have my what helmet language? of language of comprehend languages. Can I you're hear out, you're out of your shot. No. Uh, what language? A language that you cannot understand. Ah. He's speaking inferno. Then yeah. uh, blah, 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 blah. a door is going to appear in front of him. Uh, and then it's going to appear in front of him, and then it's going to appear next to Raldir. Oh. And then he's going to open it up, and you know how it looks when like there are those portals and <laughs> portal. Gonna pull you no, he's gonna step through yeah. while holding onto. Oh, and I can Elfman. see the space where the portal opens yeah. out or comes out on the other yeah. side. Yeah. Cool. So he steps through the door that appears in front of you, and then it disappears Whoa. behind them, and they both kind of just bamf over. Yo, that's awesome. Bamf. Yeah, bamf. That's a weird word. It's a, it's, it's. There'll be a history lesson on the word bamf in a bit. Um, hey, it's, it's a term used in D and D. Uh. That was the Dimension Door spell, which is really cool. That's awesome. Um, but then that's going to be the end of his turn. So then it is going to be Big Boy on Campus' turn. Oh no, Big Boy on Campus. To Chase. Flying all the way up the stairs. Going to come out to this area. And he is then going to cast Fireball. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Epic, dude. Epic, dude. All right. You think it's epic that I'm about to Fireball you? No. <laughs> yes, you do. Wait, he's about to Fireball me, but I'm behind the other man. Oh, it's an AoE, dude. Oh. How big is an AoE? <laughs> Yeah, um, so it's 20 foot radius. Oh my. So. Gosh. It's gonna land. Yeah, this whole area right here. <laughs> that's oh. 20 feet. Ow. Oh. Yeah, actually, that's. That's only half of how big it could be. Oh my gosh. Um. Oh heck. Then, everybody's going to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh no. Oh no. Everyone? Well, and not you, Kashrin. I'm not going to hit you. You're not in the way. Well, I hope I don't die. Dexterity saves. Just oh. hit, just hit the, just hit dexterity in the saving throw section. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see you now. I think, okay, I did not the right thing. Ooh. Okay, so... Nice. 15? Oh, no. Barely succeeds. Yes! <laughs> like playing jump rope. So you only take half damage. Uh oh. So this is going to be in the order of initiative. So the Cloakedman gets the 17. The Elfman gets the 2. Oh. Actually, no, that's not how they landed. The Cloakedman, they see in the chat, it went 2, then 17, so that's backwards. Cloakman gets the 2, Elfman takes the 17. 
Hey, I guess you could say <laughs> the cloakman isn't doing so hot. Well, technically he's doing really hot because he's, doing really he's hot. going to, um, actually with his reaction, he's going to pull the cloak around him and it's going to go around him. Um, he's going to block the fire. So technically, um, you're only going to take a quarter damage because you're behind him. <gasps> Yay! And it's going to scorch right. you still. But still, here comes the damage. damage. Uh, it is 8d6. Okay, so half damage to, um, so it's half damage to everybody, no damage to, uh, Cloakman, fourth so damage to you, so cool. 30 divided by four. Well, that's... 15, you take seven points of damage. Okay. Oh, that's not bad at all. And then you take 15 points of damage, Anna, and then so does the Elfman. Six HP. And then it is going to be Koshrin's turn. Yeah, Koshrin. Yeah, I'm oh. going to. This goblin is no longer there. His body became the demon. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I. What are you gonna hold your turn to do? I'm gonna prepare a dart. No, actually, I'm just gonna. Since I'm still stealth, I'm gonna like go around the corner and I'm gonna throw the dart. Since I'm hearing everything that's going on, I assume okay. I could just go out and hit him. Okay. Can I? Yeah, throw the dart. Yeah, dart! It gets melted in ah! his fire shield. It's not magical. Oh. Well, I can't hit him at all. Oh, no. So remove, remove one of your darts. Be it yeah. goblin or actual. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't hit him at all. I'm useless as fight, guys. Oh. I'm going to hang back then. I'm just gonna... Seeing that arrow melt, I'm just gonna hang back and tell them, you're gonna have to fight... <laughs> you're going to have to fight this one without me. I don't think I can get close to something that burns. Then it is going to be... Every single one of the goblins goes before the elfman. Oh. Yeah. So they're all gonna clamor up. But they're not gonna be able to, like, see past this huge demon. Yeah. yeah. Then it's gonna be the elfman's turn, who's going to unsheath both of his swords, then uh, kind of scrape them across each other. And all the runes that are along the the flats of the blades are going to begin to glow. Um, one of them being engulfed in fire, the other one crackling with lightning. And then he is going to leap, do like a lunging leap towards the uh, demon. Ooh, it's going to be good. His blades are going to be melted. <laughs> Okay, so both of those get five. Yeah, um, actually, both of those get eight. So Ooh, that's going to be a 22 brother. and a 21, and both of those are going to land. Yes. Yeah, we'll <laughs> okay, so both of those are also going to get eight. So that's going to be um, 11 and 10. So taking one slice, he's going to slice off one of the wings. Actually, you no, know he's gonna slice off both of the wings. He's gonna do like this this um, lunging attack and then land next to him, um, slicing off both of the wings, scorching and um, zapping him respectively. So now he's just a gross redman. Because he doesn't have wings anymore. Um, and then it is going to be the top of the round again. Anna. Oh, Let's go! Okay. Uh. I am going to use spiritual weapon. I'm going to attack. With the spiritual weapon as a bonus action? Uh. Because that, remember, that's how it works. The spiritual weapon creates its own spectral version of itself, and then as a bonus action, you can have it attack something, and you still have an action left. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, yeah. I got a little. 
Yeah, you do have to roll. Make a make a just make an attack check. Yeah, brother. Yeah, that's good miss, isn't it? Yep. Bad. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Do I still but, have uh Yeah, you still have an action. Alright. What are you doing? Oh wait. Oh shit, I thought it- okay, that's my bad. Uh, uh... I'll stay- I'll stay around. You don't- my you- bad. you don't wanna f sling off any healing? You don't wanna- I need healing! Do anything? Do you need healing? Yes, I have three health. Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, no, I have six health, sorry. <laughs> that's still less than the 30 that you're supposed to have. Do yeah. I have a healing ability left? After? You're the cleric! Yeah, you- you rested, so you got all your spell slots back. Okay. Did you already cast Cure Wounds? I'm... No, because no, I... I didn't. Yeah, so you can yeah, still no. cast Cure Wait, Wounds. Wait, no, I did. Yes, you but... did. Oh, yeah, yeah. On, on him. Okay, Wait, then you still have Healing Word, word. yeah. Wait, no, no, he, I used no healing she word used Healing well. Word on... Wait. You also used it on Gonshrin when oh. I was behind the game. I'm sorry. Wait, you used it while they were here? That's when she used yes. Healing Word. While okay, then. I was locked off. I don't remember when she used the other one. Cure wounds? Cure wounds. I used it on room zero and go sneaking oh. over to the. There has to be a spell that you can use. Like, there's no way there isn't. I could use Sacred Flame if that's okay. Yeah, you can use Sacred Flame, you can. Okay. Uh. The uh, roll d20 first? Uh, you could also cast Magic Circle. Okay. That is actually an option. And then you can choose one type of creature. Celestials, Elementals, Fae, Fiends, or Undead. And they cannot enter it. Cannot enter what? Cannot enter the circle. Okay. Oh jeez, so I have to be... So you can either try and damage it, or you can make a circle or do something else. Yeah, I'm gonna damage it first. So... Oh wait, wrong thing! Ah! Uh, that's in my bath. I roll, roll a d20 first? No, it's just a dexterity saving throw. A creature. So... Uh, that's gonna be... 16. Um, and your spell save DC is... Uh... 16. So... He takes the damage. Throw damage. Alright, uh, I just did. Oh, wait, do I have to do it again? Did you throw the damage? Hold on, let me check how much damage it does. Yeah, so 2d8, 11 damage. Okay, so you deal 11 damage with uh, Sacred Flame. Okay. Well, actually, that's 11 plus 5, that's 16. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, this guy's starting to look pretty rough. Oh, thank the lord. So, now it is going to be Raldir's turn. Yes. Finally. Uh, I'm gonna move over here so I can get my nice clear shot off. Okay. And I'm gonna try to shoot him. Okay. That's gonna land, throw damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. By the way, that gets plus four to it because you add your deck. Oh, no, it gets plus. Yeah, it gets plus four because you add your proficiency yeah, in that. Oh, that's. It. No, it doesn't. Oh. That's 4d6, and he's 4d6 oh, no, plus 4. Yeah. So that's 19. That is 19 damage. So, counting up the... How many times did you attack him? Three, Three right? Three times now, yeah. Okay, then that shot's gonna kill him. How do you want to do it? Yes. Um, you know what? Because that was 12 pop. damage that you that we were... I'm gonna pop coming. his head straight off. Just yep. like, do that, like, quick pop scope. Heads. Pop his head right off. Popping heads. Alright. This was easier than expected. 
Well, technically, he took, like, what, 100 damage? So. Uh, I'm going to look over to Ana, and I'm sure I'm very beat up, seeing as I have 6 health. Yeah. I'm gonna say, that's easy for you to say. <laughs> So you're very hurt. Then yes. it is going to be Cloakman's turn. Yeah, Cloakman. Who is going to step over um, the demon's body, face these three globins, and fire off a sixth level fireball. Oh my god, he's like gonna wipe them all. Uh, so that's gonna be 8d6. Um, actually, it's gonna be 10d6. <laughs> but they have to make dexterity yeah, saving cool. throws, each of them. So I'm gonna. I always make saving throws in front of you guys, so. Versus his spell save of. Hold on. That's. 16. So. One of them takes half damage, but the others take full damage. 10, D6, plus 5. Wow! <laughs> Three ones! Oh my lord. Um, so, two of them are going to be com in instantly incinerated. Yay! Yay! Cloakman to the rescue again. But then the second one's gonna whip out a wand. Ah. Lugman's gonna need to make a saving throw. He's not gonna succeed. He's gonna take a, a witch bolt straight to the chest. Oh. Wait, no, I did that backwards. No, it's yeah, a did. yeah. So that's a, that's he's, he's... that's an attack, um, but it has disadvantage because he's within five feet, so it's gonna miss. Which bolt misses? Because if you make a ranged spell attack within five feet, it has disadvantage. Uh, did it just throw again? Spooky. <laughs> and so it was. <laughs> that was that was spooky. Um, it's turning against us now. And then it is going to be the Elfman's turn, who is just going to. Um, let's see. What can I do? He's so much fun to play. Um. Ooh, <laughs> that's what I'll do. What he does. <laughs> this is, I'm referencing a character sheet, like a physical character I sheet. So oh, I know. Uh. Yeah, he's gonna run up and do like an eviscerate X slice at the head. I think you skipped. Me. Uh. I did skip you. You're right. Yeah, because I thought I was after Cloak. You are after Cloakman. Go for it. Oh, can I even move? Because okay. uh, when I write... Okay, so let me explain. When I write down the initiatives, I write down EL for Elfman. Um, but <laughs> the L sometimes uh, looks like a one of my ones, so I thought he had a 16 initiative. That was my bad. All right, well, this is happening. I'll be right back. Can I move through? Huh? Yeah. Can I move through? Yeah, yeah you can. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, run over... Like, I think I can stay here. Can I? Where? I don't know if that's a... You're not moving <laughs> on my screen. Oh, there you go. Yeah, alright. I, I don't I don't know if that's a doable position. That is a doable position. Alright, I'm gonna beat the ever-living hell out of this man. Okay. Goblin thing. <laughs> Goblin man? There you go. Uh, that one lands. Um... So I'm, I'm just gonna make both of them, and then we'll do the unarmed strikes. That one misses. Okay. Well, I'm gonna hit him for the first one. Yeah, you... So you... Okay, dead? so I'm gonna do this for comedic effect. Yes, he's dead. Um, but you're gonna run up to him, and you're gonna punch, and he's gonna duck. And then you're gonna throw a knee, and he's gonna dodge. And you're gonna look at him, just go... Uh, and then just snap his neck, just <laughs> like last time. Yeah, just uh, kick, just just. There you go. <laughs> uh, 
after that, I'm gonna clap my hands together and go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, like combat is over. Out. Combat is over. And... And? We can either decide to take our break... Or... Well, this is up to you guys. We still technically have a half hour in the session. So we can either stop here, or just push for another 30 minutes. I just went to the bathroom, so I'm fine. I'm fine as well. So we, let's, push the, let's push the next 30 minutes then. Okay, so combat's over. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way, as soon as the, the, the demon died, its body began to like, slowly, like, starting at the edges with him on the ground, began to, s no, set on fire. <laughs> Oh. Until oh, like until hard. it was until it was crackling more and more until it engulfed his body and he became ash. Okay. Is there anything in the ash that I can take? Like, is there anything like any solids? No. <laughs> he he was those. he was holding a spectral a spectral mace. Uh, like so. it was made of shadow. Oh, that's cool. Like, hmm. What a neat man. Actually, yes. He, there was. There he was wearing these weird ankle bracelets. Ooh. That are that are silver and have like a like a, a ruby in them. Those would can drop I, to the ground. Can I take them? Yeah, sure. Cool. Okay, so what do you want me to write down for those? Well first you're gonna take the burn damage because they're scalding hot. <laughs> I should have thought of that. Oh no, not really. <laughs> You take you're gonna you're only gonna grab one. I mean, okay. that's when you're gonna realize they're scalding hot, so you're gonna take a d4 of oh, it won't, it won't kill of me. It won't fire kill me. damage. Yeah, but it'll knock you out. No, I have six. Oh, you have six? No, you're down to three! <laughs> now I'm down to three. So I'm you reach down to grab and, it's, and it goes, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then it drops back onto the ground. Uh -huh. yeah. Rip headphone users, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I really want to take them, but it's like, uh, well, you can just wait for them to cool down, like, and then no, you can I'm grab them. Wait, I'm going to wait for them to cool down, and then I'm going to take them. Okay. Hey, so you could you could so you could wear these as like wristbands. They're that big. Yo, I'm gonna do that. Okay, you do that. Yo, that's epic. As soon as you put them on, oh my god, you feel something within you. You, you become the demon. You hear a voice in your head. Oh no. At first, it sounds like crackling fire. Oh, it's infernal. But since you're wearing your helmet. You're able to understand that it's infernal. <laughs> and then the voice says, Hello. Oh. Uh, hello. You and I are going to become good friends. Uh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all you're gonna hear. Uh, I got these new wristbands. Uh, I'm gonna. Um, what are you so talking about? Uh, yeah, no, he heard the voice in his head. None of was, you guys heard it. There was a voice. Yeah, but he was, he was talking. Wait, hon, can I. I thought he was talking. Were you responding, about... like, out loud or mentally? In this I mean, case, I didn't think I'd, I'd know if I. In this if case, I I'll say I'll say that I was talking out loud. Okay. But I have to see crazy like you. Um, well, there was there was a voice that came when 
when I put up, put these on, but I, I don't think there's any harm in it. I, 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 it's a voice. It can't. Casually pokes. <laughs> Wait, ca casually what? Casually pokes the wristband. It, it feels it feels scalding to the touch. <laughs> you take a D4 of fire damage. <laughs> you take three points of fire damage. I'm going to Arcana check them, I think. Okay, make an Arcana check. I... S -s -s check these things out. What do they look like? You have no fucking clue what they could be. <laughs> no, <laughs> by the way, also... by the way, you can just cast Identify on these. As an artificer, that's just a thing you can do. Oh, yeah, you know, I'll do that. Let's <laughs> see what's, what's up with that. That's just a thing that all artificers can do. Those yeah. Are really yeah, so starting at first level, you under your understanding of magic items allows you to analyze and understand their secrets. Um, you know the artificer spells detect magic and identifying you can cast them as rituals. You don't need to provide material component when casting identify. I say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what, what's up with these things. So, um, you cast identify, and um, your eyes begin to glow this uh, vibrant, um, whitish, um, like radiant color. Um, and... For a moment, uh, you can see these. You 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 look down into them, and you're instantly taken to this different plane, like within your head. Well, this is what you see. So it, to you, it looks like you're going to a completely different plane that is just made of nothing but fire. And you see coming out of this huge mountain of flames, this giant version. You are like an ant of the demon. Before you are wrenched out, and now you're back, and you can see. Uh, after it, it leaves you with a stinging headache, you can see the room around you, surrounded by your companions. Hmm. I'm going to approach. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk back to the cloakman, just seeing him like going. He's doing his own thing. Oh no! His head like wrenches back, and he like. Puts a hand on his head because it it hurts. Oh, okay, so it was that yeah like, that forceful. Yeah. Are you okay with that, idea? That was quite the shock. I'm with gonna. Us? I'm gonna take those things off. I'm gonna take the arm uh, the armbands off. You can't. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I, I was afraid you were gonna say that. They've melted together at the bottom where they're supposed to. Latch. On one hand, I was afraid of that, but on the other hand, this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> they you know what? Me I'm okay with me. this. You know what? I'm alright with this. And um, with that, I'm gonna... we Wait. pushed our 30 minutes. Wait. You have something Wait. to say? Yes, uh, just as my final action, I'm going to wearily kind of like, like, when I say take them off, I'm going to like just wearily just kind of like tug just a little, the slightest bit, like, by like putting like a finger, trying to like to, like pull it off and it's like no okay <laughs> okay because i mean like i acted really nonchalant with that demon so it's just like no all right whatever they won't come off all right all is well and with that that's going to bring our session to a close ah! <laughs> so i'd like to thank you all for watching for those of you who are watching on twitch right now um if you came in like halfway late um, you can look forward to this episode being posted on Monday. Um, so you can watch it straight from the beginning. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube right now, then be sure to subscribe. And you can catch the show live at 5.30 CST Thursdays in the afternoon. Yeah. Pretty good session, guys. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. Yay. And we'll catch you next time. Great session to catch back. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.